Hi, this is Suze Laventera. Okay, so I ended with Leo singles. So let me do a Leo couples because it kind of dominated the thing. So let me do Leo couples and then I'll go into Virgo. Okay, so Leo couples. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Nurture the relationship. Ooh, someone likes white and beige and those kind of like soft uh, colors. That's what I'm getting. White. Uh, lots of white I'm getting. Okay, temperance. Okay, so you're passionate about each other. That's nice. Okay, this might be a trip to Asia for somebody. Okay. And practice patience like... Um, <laughs> okay like a demure geisha <laughs> oh my goodness i'm sorry that's cracking me up okay so what do they do they okay so they're soft-spoken they're not loud like me <laughs> I, I fail in that department <laughs> i'm part japanese <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so the ladies are like uh soft spoken and they play music and do like kind of theatrics and stuff like that, right? Okay. And um and maybe speak words of poetry, something like that. Okay. Now patience is okay coming in. So what is that? Hold on. Okay, so, you know, when you live together, um, it's an adjustment, right? And especially if it's a new relationship and you're coming together, it's like, um, it's like shining that gem. Okay, so, okay, so shining that gem. Maybe you're getting married or are just married and you're, um, okay. Now, for some of you, this could be renewing the vows to each other. Okay, all right. And, um. And I'm seeing like on your trips, getting little um, uh, things that uh, remind you to put in your home about your journeys together. Okay, some fun uh, things. And as you do that uh, and fill up your house with these nice uh, remembrance uh, memories, okay, of material stuff that, that can bring in the magic, the fairies, right? Okay, so feeling lighter and freer, communicating with spirit during the times when you feel like you need the patience. Okay, and uh, okay, so respecting and honor each other. Okay, so I'm getting that. Okay, and ooh, you are the mover and the shaker. That's what I'm getting. Okay, all right, so flowers around the home can be uplifting. Okay, so I'm getting that. Okay, the main thing is, I feel like in the past, you had disappointment in love. Okay, well, who hasn't? But I feel like... Ooh, okay, so this is like five of shells. Making something delicious like a miso soup i'm doing that because we're here right in japan or, or asia okay so it's like miso soup they have a clam miso soup okay now this is a special kind of i don't think it's japanese but um it's a needle clam and it takes a lot of um to prep this, it's a lot of work because there's sand in there, okay, in this one. So it's like, it doesn't create a pearl, but to prep it, to make it just right for the dish, you have to do certain things to to the um, this clam, okay. And I, in fact, they're showing me like some uh, cooking show. 
some kind of cooking show where they use these. It was like one of those cooking challenges, and um, they used this clam, and uh, and there was sand in the dish because they didn't prep it right. So it's like prep your love life right, right? Okay, and uh, speak. Yeah, communicate because see, look, here's a magician reverse. So it's like. Men aren't mind readers. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So you have to kind of uh, open up and just say exactly like by the book, right? That's what they need. Okay. Like love, I would like to, um, for example, you want it, let's say you wanted to go to Japan and you were hoping that they would just come up with it, the idea themselves. No. So say, I would like to go to this and this in Japan someday, right? And then let the inspiration happen. Okay. Something like that I'm getting. All right, now. Okay, so I feel like in the past some of you have been charmed charm too much maybe that's what you feel like okay by younger energy okay so this time you want a stable sure energy so you want to thank that past person because now you know um what you want okay Thank you for being my friend, at least for how many ever years or, or uh, you know, a minute even. Thank you for being friend. I'm getting that Golden Girl song. Okay, so, and that is going to bring in the victory, is to truly bringing in um, that forgiveness for self and others. Okay. All right. And that's going to catapult your relationship okay now here we go virgo whoa <laughs> all right so okay all right now okay i'm gonna Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pick the ones that a whole deck flew onto the floor. So what I want to say here is it's a fire sign. Okay, that was there. Or someone who's very passionate about you. Okay, so ring of fire. So someone might like country music. Okay, so uh, that's John Wayne. Okay, so they also could be someone who's been sad about you, who has fire energy. Okay, so let's see. This is three of wings. Sorrow, who's been sad. Okay, what's the ap opposite of the air energy is fire energy, and this is star reversed. So they've probably given up hope on you. Okay, this is for someone who's single, who's who uh, loves this one who's passionate about you, but they've kind of given up hope. Okay, so... Okay, so that was the next car, Chariot. So that could also be, okay, so a fire sign, a water sign. Okay, they're saying someone with water and fire in their, like, the close energies, like uh, sun sign, rising, and moon. Okay, something like that. So fire and water. That's Cancer. Okay. Aries, Leo... Sagittarius. Now, for some of you, this could have been a family stuff that you're trying to heal. And that's why you couldn't um, go towards love. Okay. 
or chose not to because you didn't want to funk things up with other people. You wanted to sure up that energy. Okay, but looks like this person might come here. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune. There would be luck and prosperity here. But time is of essence, perhaps. What's this? King of Pentacles. Okay, it's someone who is uh, working on some stuff. Okay, so it could be someone who has, this is all reversed, hold on. Okay, whoever this is, they've had problems with their relationships and marriage and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting. All right, and they want to walk away from it, but then what? I'm getting Sagittarius energy strongly here. Okay, so... I feel like you want a partner that you can travel with and have fun with. So maybe that's the problem. I'm trying to look on the floor, see what's standing up. Okay, the emperor is also on the top here. I'm looking down. I didn't pick all the cards up. Okay, so what's lighting up is the emperor. And what is that? Resistance, seven of wands. The, the Both of you or one of you has extreme resistance to coming together. So I don't, it's like wanting it, but not doing it. Okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah, this energy doesn't open up. So that could be self-esteem problems, uh, trying to balance out ego, trying to get courage to bring it into the earth. Okay. Earth and air. Okay, so th that could be you. Or someone who's interested. Okay, so Virgo. So earth and air. Okay, so it could be an air sign or it could be any of those signs. And I feel like, what sign are we on? We're on Virgo. Okay, so another Virgo um, who is, has an air sign rising or moon. Is there a cross watcher here? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it takes opening up, whatever that is. Okay. So, who knows when that will happen. Maybe next lifetime, right? That fell on the ground. Okay. So, they're busy doing work. And managing their emotions and all that. Okay, so it could be water, air, uh, fire. So that's like what? Um, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so uh, let's do couples real quick for Virgo. Okay, Virgo couples, temptation and queen of cups. Okay, so you want to make sure you're staying in your honor and integrity, especially with that uh, Saturn retrograde going on. Let's see what that is. Let's look into it a little bit more.
Okay, so some of you are with a cancer sign. That's interesting because in the singles, the emperor showed up. And then here's the chariot. Hmm. Okay, so there's this movement in love, but are you moving together or apart? That's the question. Or is this your suspicion here? Are you suspicious? Maybe you have an open relationship and that's what's bugging you for someone. Okay, so just a little note. That could be a Pisces here. Okay, the polar opposite. Page of Cups. Okay, a Pisces with a Pisces with a child. A Pisces with a child. Okay, Pisces with a child, and. In the past, they were tempted by, okay, so for someone in the past, they were tempted by some energies. Okay, so maybe they had a, a okay, so this may not be for everybody. So had a child outside of marriage, okay, and this person is a, uh, Cancer or Aries, a cancer sign that holds Aries energy for their work. Okay. Woo! Okay. So what about it? This is a Pisces reading. Okay. So, it may relate to um, earth signs who have been in polar opposite negative energy. Okay, so, but I'm getting strongly Pisces here. So, all right, so the tower came in. Okay, why? Uh, not communicating openly and warmly. Yeah, and it's calling for that. And that is, the Queen of Wands symbolizes to me this, this energy here. That's what it's calling for, for that person. Warm, passionate. That's what you want from your partner. And hoping that they will help you financially with child. Okay, and if they help you, then you would come out of that. Feeling like needing to be in a cocoon. Okay. So your dreams would then walk on earth in the physical reality. This is hangman reversed. Okay, so you would feel like you were bringing your dreams into this reality then. Okay. But right now you're doing this. Hi, I'm over here. Okay. And maybe not so... Uh, Okay, so part of it is you feel like there's too much competition for attention, needing to get attention. You want the attention to just come. You don't want to have to fight for their attention and love. You just want it to flow you, because you're a water sign. You just want to flow in and then move into this energy, the 1111, four wands. Okay, so that's the message for someone. Okay. All right, so since that was like, um, let's see if we can get another couples. Okay.
<laughs> okay. All right, so I feel like you're sneaking away and doing self-care and self-love. Okay, so it's like, um, cougar energy. This is cougar energy, okay. Okay, so I feel like here, Virgo, couples, okay. You've got your eye on something. Other than love, okay. And that could be affecting your pinnacles too, okay. And have you feeling like you don't want to work on love right now? Is it going to come together? Some of you, this is a Scorpio energy here. Or Taurus energy. Alright, so. See, it's like... We're waiting for you to turn to it. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel because you're busy focused on something else. But the, your person wants to work on it and wants this with you. Okay, so it's all about being present in the moment and tuning into your love life energy. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, now... Knight of Swords. Okay, so they're younger than you. That's what I'm getting. It could be vice versa, but that's what I'm strongly getting. Okay. And then here is Wish Fulfillment. It's here for you. You just have to wake up to it. Okay. Within your relationship. You've got Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Oh, okay, so they're saying if this is for couples and singles. Okay, so this is the potential, but you have to keep your mind clear so that the energy can come in and you can wake up to it. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so, and if you're in a loving relationship with this energy, someone who's harnessing this kind of Scorpio, Taurus energy, bullheaded, stubborn Okay, uh, then just flow with it. That's the solution. Just, you don't have to be right, right? Um, you can get past whatever that is and, and move into your nice union here. Okay. Okay, yeah, if you get out of the right and wrongs of things, right? Forgiveness, okay. All right, now, here is Libra. Let's start a new video because I think that was long. <laughs> 